It is official. Kansas City will have a modern downtown, down streetcar line that its backers believe will be a game changer for the city. Results of an unusual mail-in election are tallied up this week and voters approve a one-cent sales tax hike that greenlights the two-mile streetcar. In a separate vote, they approve property tax increases that will help fund the $100 million transit project. Well, it should help the renaissance of Kansas City, period. The first leg will certainly have an impact on downtown, but the object isn't just to help downtown. The object is to be able to ultimately connect up through varying and altering routes this entire city so that people who don't have cars on the east side can get to places where there are jobs, so that people who don't have cars out south can get to places where there are jobs. That video from NBC Action News. Lynn, what, what do these numbers actually mean? Do we learn anything from these numbers? Nobody was surprised, thinking in any way this was going to fail, were they? No, it was pretty much a foregone conclusion. Uh, it was a very small electorate. Just people who lived within the downtown transportation district were allowed to vote. They had to request a ballot. It was an involved process. They had gone through this earlier in the summer and approved the taxing district. So this approved the specific taxes. And there are significant tax increases for that, diff that district. Uh, many of the property owners who will be paying the taxes do not live in the district. They're not all that happy about it. But the city felt this was the way to go. The streetcars, they say, will dramatically improve downtown, will increase the density and the vibrancy. It should improve property values and make Kansas City more competitive with other progressive cities. There were some hints in your story this week because some of those property owners who didn't live in the district had the, didn't have the opportunity to vote. There may be some lawsuits coming uh, as regards to this. Anything more on that? We don't know specifics. Nothing's been filed yet. I do think there are people talking to lawyers and exploring whether this was a constitutional vote or whether there's a way to make a challenge. The city did go to court and got the a, a judge's a, a ruling authorizing the elections, so I think they feel like they're on solid legal ground. They plan to start construction next year and to have the trains running by 2015. So we could be on these streetcars by 2015, Bill? I I think that's a little optimistic, but June 2015, one of the reasons I say that is because Kansas City has a crumbling infrastructure, and one of the things that has to be done is to deal with that down Main Street where you've got pipes that are a century old. So if they get the design plans finalized in the spring, which is, is the goal, is the council, as a matter of fact, voted for the contract to get that done yesterday. but. It, you know, again, this crumbling infrastructure has caused problems before. There's no reason to think it won't cause problems again. I do think they plan to replace a big water main down Main Street, and that's probably a good thing because it leaks all the time anyway. Steve. <laughs> you know, I think this is really a moment in Kansas City, the passage of this thing. This was really a sign, uh, a very aggressive move by city leaders who sort of elbowed their way through the crowd here and shoved this idea uh, onto the city by designating this very small electorate that they knew would probably pass this thing. And you don't see city leaders being this aggressive typically in this town. We've turned the page now on an issue that has been dogging this city for decades. How are we going to improve and expand mass transit in the community? Not only do we see it now for this coming two or three years, this short leg, but as the mayor just said, we're going to be seeing this issue now for years and years to come as attempts are made to expand this system going forward. It's a heck of a gamble. As Bill just pointed out, lots of needs in this city. We're just adding another one, a $2 million a year subsidy to keep this thing going. I think for Sly James' sake, this thing better work, and it very well may work, but it's just a very interesting moment that we've arrived at here, getting this thing to, to be moving forward. Do you think it would have passed if it was put on a, a general election ballot, Steve? Well, we're going to never never know, Nick, but based on recent history, based on the economy right now, based on how short this first leg is, I think it's doubtful it would have passed the, coming yeah. out of the game. A lot of the complaints, uh, Dave Helling, was, oh, this is just a two-mile streetcar line, and it just goes from Union Station to the River Market, and we really need to be creating transit options in this community that are going to take people to jobs, and we certainly heard that in the mayor's quote. There is a bigger plan that is looming, and that is uh, 
the plan by the Jackson County executive, Mike Sanders, mm -hmm. who has ideas for the upcoming year of putting on the ballot a massive commuter rail plan using existing rail tracks that would do exactly that. Right. That would have people using a one cent county sales tax to get people moving by rail. Does this vote now signal that that will go on the ballot in 2013? It, it may, we don't know whether it's going on the ballot, Nick. Whether it will succeed or not is a whole other question. I disagree a little bit with Brother Kraske in terms of how this might have fared citywide. Uh, I think it would have passed citywide if the taxes had just been levied in the district. But the, but the problem you always have with mass transit votes is you're asking the entire community to subsidize specific routes which may or may not come close to your home. And that's always a tough sell. I mean, if to vote for a huge sales tax increase to provide commuter rail for something you may never use is a tough sale. That's why I think Russ Johnson and others pushed this in-district idea, because right. these people will benefit from it. And so you could make the argument that it, it will add to your property value, bring development, that kind of thing. So I, I, I know that Mike Sanders is pushing forward with, with his proposal. I do think federal money is going to be extraordinarily difficult, if not impossible, to get. So my guess is if it does go on the ballot, it will be quite an uphill battle to see the community support. Bill, now you've been reporting on that. He does have huge support from most of the mayors in Jackson County, hasn't he? He does. As a matter of fact, just a, a couple of weeks back, they all met at Arrowhead and, and talked about this. And one of the things that Sanders has really beat the drum on, and the mayor has too, is intermodal. It doesn't have to get you from point A to point B, but if it can get you from point A to point B where you can take a different mode of transportation, it's going to benefit everyone. You know, Dave just said something very interesting here, very important, and that is the federal money is gone here, both for Mike Sanders' proposal and for Sly James trying to expand this, this light uh, streetcar uh, plan going forward, Nick, that money is gone. The, the, the burden now will be on Kansas City and Kansas City alone to keep this thing going forward. The state of Missouri won't be giving us any money for this. It's Kansas City very much alone moving forward. And, and let me just throw in one other thing, and maybe Lynn would like to chime in too, but $100 million for two miles of streetcar is enormously expensive. It just is. If you do a 20-mile uh, streetcar system, that's a billion dollars, let alone the cost to operate it. And the streetcar is going to be free, as I recall, correct? To, be, to, to begin with. To begin with. Or yeah. just to begin so, with. So operating costs are going to be somewhat of a challenge. So there are lots of questions. I know there is great optimism following this vote, but I think the weeks, months, years ahead will w really tell the tale of whether this is the start of something else. Yeah. Well, and I do think they all say that two miles alone is stupid. <laughs> that's not the goal. The goal at least is to get out to the plaza, UMKC, then you're really connecting people, you know, in a dense residential area, two jobs downtown. I think they feel like that would be, that would truly be the game changer. Well, it's all free for right now, and I'm looking forward to being able to go from Union Station to the River Market <laughs> with my nook, <laughs> and I'm doing this, so I'm looking forward to that.